All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, uh, we want to talk about social media with West Michigan Tourist Association. I'm Dan Sippel, Executive Director of the West Michigan Tourist Association. And with us today are experts in social media, Brian Matson and Dave Serino from 260. Bye. As the West Michigan Tourist Association offers social media packages that can be part of your media with us, and they're different than most of the social media that you might place yourself. The biggest reason for that, of course, is that you're reaching our audiences, and we're offering that to you uh, to expand your reach. You know, again, these guys know this way better than me. So, Dave, can you talk a little bit about how we came up with this program? Yes, WMT came up with this program based on the value of the traffic that comes not only to the organization's website, but also to their social traffic and, engage, and engages in all the so posts that they have on their social media, especially their Facebook and Instagram uh, uh, locations, which are all part of the, the meta package. Uh, so what exactly happens is there are is there's a pixel installed on the WMTA website. That pixel collects the data of individual visitors. Uh, and when people come into that pixel and uh, Facebook or Meta classifies them as an individual user and they'll stick them in a bucket and that could be an exact custom audience. Uh, what happens then is, is WMTA collects uh, the, these type of personas and as people come to the, 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 the website and engage in the social platform, that uh, custom audience begins to grow. When that custom audience gets to a significant, a significant point, uh, the group goes out and they create what's called a lookalike audience. That lookalike audience has the exact same attributes and characteristics of the people in the custom audience. The only thing is that audience could be maybe uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 times larger. And that gives us an ability to find a great pool of potential consumers uh, to, to, to target. And then uh, there's another step that's taken place is, is, is geography or geographical targeting where we can actually take that big audience and that big funnel of say a million consumers and then whittle them down to say specific consumers with certain personas located in the Metro Detroit area or located in uh, Ohio or Indiana or even West Michigan or Northern Michigan, you know, whatever the case is, we have the ability to not only build that personas, but also to drill down and uh, to them geographically. And then West Michigan Tourist Association does a post that features your, your product. Uh, that, that, that post is seen, it's targeted to those specific consumers, which you request, and it's all new traffic that you have the ability to expose, expose your project, product to. And eventually those consumers will either visit uh, your destination, uh, engage with your 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 uh, your retail outlet or your bar, restaurant, etc. Uh, it, it gives you great options to expose your product to an, a new audience, uh, which can create uh, additional uh, um, uh, income and and, and uh, uh, relevance and exposure for for uh, for your organization. Great, thanks, Dave. Hey, Brian, why is this particular way of using your social media through WMTA may be more powerful than just doing it on your own website. I think it's because of the reach that WMTA has. I mean, honestly, any website visitor uh, or anybody conducting a search online looking for a Michigan experience, a West Michigan experience is probably going to be visiting that site in some way. And what we can do is we can actually cookie those browsers of all those users um, that aren't just coming to your site, but coming to the WMTA site. I mean, it's a bigger share of the audience that you can actually tap into. I mean, I really equate this down to if you've ever searched for, you know, a new toaster or something online, and you found a toaster, and that toaster chased you around the internet endlessly for the next few weeks. Right. That's essentially what we're able to do with these audiences. You're capturing a very wide, wide berth of uh, users online. And uh, we're going to be able to tap into that for all the membership and really expand the reach and reach people that have probably never even, you know, considered them before. And it's also almost a uh, pre-qualifier, right? Because you're out there working very, very hard and most organizations are working very hard to find new customers uh, or new visitors. But what happens after someone has already committed or done a search or reached the West Michigan Tourist Association 
website, we're already reaching the, that audience halfway down the funnel. So we, we already have established qualifiers that they are interested in information in West Michigan. So it's something that, that, that uh, will we'll reach, that you will reach that will be a second or third qualifier on a, on a potential consumer. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword, quite honestly. It's people who have expressed interest and are actually looking to have West Michigan experiences but it's also enabling us to reach people who should want to have West Michigan experiences based on all the attributes associated with the people that we know already do want them, right? So it's just a huge, huge amplifier for the, the, the quality and the amount of users we're actually able to reach. And this will actually go anywhere you want to go, whether you're an organization having an event targeted to certain people or whether it's just organization-wide, correct? Absolutely. Okay. What kind of metrics should people look for? And, you know, certainly the WMTA marketing and sales staff will uh, give you full metrics afterwards. And, you know, you can we help you do the comparatives to what's out there. But what, they, what should they be looking for? Drive traffic. I mean, we want to see, you know, referral traffic from WMTA into right. their assets, I think, would be a really great metric to, to be looking at. Um, but I also just think like the brand lift, if you will, of those individual partners throughout the program, whether you're featuring a blog article or a landing page with different tours and activities and things like that. I think that's something that everybody can can really benefit from overall. Yeah. And, and uh, if you're looking for general reach, right, and, and impressions, that's going to tell us more about brand lift. So it's going to tell you how far your message has gone. But as Brian said, you know, we, we we're big believers in the clicks and the click through rates and making sure that that consumers are taking action. Uh, another metric, which I I personally like in, in, in the meta advertising platform are saves and shares. So one, one of those things, especially the shares, uh, a person sees the ad or sees the boosted post, uh, not only do they consume it, but they'll tag or share it with either everyone on, on their own Facebook page or tag a friend. And any type of those, those shares and tags and also saves, uh, gives additional amplification, but also it really um, it gives, you know, we, we call them a intense to travel. And so, so they're very good intense to, intense to show that people are interested in the product and they're thinking about making commitment and converting. Excellent. Yes. And again, we have lots of uh, verified people that have done, you know, programs with us and the, the results have been astounding, honestly, and we'd be happy to share that with anyone out there that's uh, looking at doing these programs any further. Yeah, and, and based on what we've seen uh, from, from you and some of the, uh, the data, uh, your click-through rates and, uh, and also your cost per clicks are, are way above uh, uh, industry average. So, so it, it, there, there is great value in, in the program. Yeah. And, and, and by getting, reaching that consumer at that second tier of the funnel, is, is huge for that type of return, yeah. financial return. Yeah, the partners at WMTA get to tap into a powerhouse of a website and a yeah. powerhouse of an audience represented by the organization. I mean, it's, it, to me, it's really a no-brainer um, to, to kind of latch on to this and roll with it. Yeah, and, and if we want to go old school and just to kind of refresh people who may, may not be 100% uh, uh, all into digital, we could actually think about this if you've been marketing in Michigan for a long time. One of the old things they used to do with the visitor guides were, uh, were, you know, were label sharing or lead sharing. And this is an, a very, very similar process or parallel, except we've moved that all into a, a digital realm. To a digital space, absolutely. And that's the benefit of being a member of uh, West Michigan Tourist Association, that you can tap into things like this. And we wanna continue to amplify your message through unique and uh, proprietary information that we can share and make you successful as well. Really appreciate you guys being with us today and helping to clarify how this program works for everyone out there. Awesome, thank you, Ben, great being here. Thank you very much.